is a quote from Francois Holland, the president of France, regarding global warming and uh, our basically responsibility to do something about it. Global warming is something that affects us all, uh, from the food we eat to uh, the environment we live in. Um, I myself am a big fan of nature. I'm also a big fan of uh, eating and uh, preserving species. So global warming is really important to me. And it's actually one of the reasons why uh, I chose to be an engineer, is because I want to be able to uh, design things that help the world. Um, for those of you that don't know what global warming is, I'll just go over it really briefly. Uh, the purpose of my speech is to dispel some myths about global warming. Um, but basically, what's happening is we have uh, humans, our, our society, are releasing fossil fuels into the atmosphere that sort of create uh, a membrane, you could say, around the world. And uh, this uh, membrane in the atmosphere is um, trapping heat that comes in from the sun. The heat's bounced off the earth, but not all of it gets out of the atmosphere. Some of it stays, and that's causing our climate to get warmer slowly, but much quicker than it has in the past. It's our fault. Um, so some of the effects this has, uh, it makes the sea levels rise. Uh, so some lower elevation cities could even end up underwater in less than 100 years. Um, it makes the oceans more acidic, which is killing uh, fish, it's killing their habitat, it's killing coral reefs. And uh, there's more CO2 in the air, which is bad for animals and plants alike. Um, and this is some information I got from a, a bioscience article. Um, and then I found that people hold a lot of misconceptions about uh, global warming uh, in a public opinion quarterly article. And uh, so that's what I'm here to do today. I'm here to dispel just a few of those myths. Um, those myths are that scientists, specifically climate scientists, would lose their jobs if global warming didn't exist. Um, it's that temperature records are very recent and that we can't make accurate uh, predictions from that, and uh, that this temperature fluctuation is normal and that it'll eventually go back to a normal temperature. So the first myth is that uh, climate scientists, um, their job relies on global warming, and so thus they're here to just produce, uh, it's just conspiracy that they've created so that way their jobs stick around. And that's simply not true because uh, this field of science of climate, um, the climate analysts, their, uh, their field existed much before global warming was a popular term. In fact, the definition of their job, uh, as was defined on America's Job Exchange, is that climate scientists are responsible for studying the weather, uh, climate changes, and the atmosphere in order to predict and analyze the weather. So these two guys, um, I'm not. There's really no popular climate scientists that I could have uh, referenced. There's no celebrities, but they they work for the Lawrence Berkeley National Lab up in the Bay Area, and they're just analyzing uh, some sort of weather pattern. And so that's really what they do is just um, predict natural disasters, you know, predict the weather. They that's where you get your weather channel weather from. Is these guys, and so their job is much more than just global warming. And but and this is just something that happens. Um, the second uh, myth I'd like to dispel is that uh, we've only been keeping track of temperature for the past 100 years. And this is actually what inspired me to do this speech, is because on Monday, um, I was going to do a different speech, but then in one of my classes, a professor uh, said something about how he didn't believe in global warming uh, because we've only been keeping track of temperature for 100 years. And this is just not at all true. Um, there's a sliver of truth, I guess, in it, in that we've only been keeping track of temperature with a thermometer for the past about 100 50 years, but uh, using other methods, such as one seen here, um, which is an ice core, we can find the, the temperatures and the carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere from many hundreds of thousands of years ago. Uh, so to, an ice core is basically you go to the Antarctic or the North Pole and you drill down super far and you pull up an ice core. And um, inside these ice cores, there's little bubbles of air that are preserved from centuries and hundreds of thousands of years past that uh, show us the makeup of the air in the atmosphere from uh, these past times. So this is some data that is found from ice cores. Um, it shows us the carbon dioxide level in the atmosphere in parts per million uh, from about 450,000 years ago uh, all the way up to present. And you can see that our current level is this, is this spike right here. It's, it's, it's vertical, like it's a massive increase. And that's all because of us, basically. <laughs> And then uh, the final 
myth I'm going to try to debunk for you guys is that um, global warming is just the climate fluctuating naturally. And uh, while well, the climate does fluctuate naturally, as you can see here, um, this graph on the top is from 800,000 years ago. You can see it going up and down throughout the ice ages. Uh, the recent changes we've seen in why global warming is a threat because the, the change is happening much quicker than it should be. Um, usually after ice ages, it takes about 5,000 years for the temperature to go up about uh, 10 degrees Fahrenheit or so. But we've seen in the past, hundred years, only hundred years, that the temperature has already gone up almost a degree, which is so much faster, it's like more than ten times as fast as it has in the past. And it just happens to coincide with the Industrial Revolution, which happened in the late 1800s, which is when we started releasing a lot more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So um, there's obviously there's such a strong correlation there that there can only be one thing, and that's that humans are producing global warming. So those are the three myths uh, I wanted to <coughs> To bust for you guys today. Uh, I hope they, um, I hope it like helps you guys understand global warming a little bit more. Um, and just to reiterate what they were, uh, no climate scientist would not lose their job if it wasn't for global warming. Um, the ice cores show us what we lack in thermometer temperature recordings, and uh, the climate fluctuations are much too uh, are happening much too quickly, and they're much too great for it not to be caused by uh, humans losing fossil fuels. In so uh, I, I'm, I'm no expert on this, I'm not a climate scientist, but it, it's been a hobby of mine to kind of look at global warming, and I feel like it's my responsibility, and it's all of our responsibility as like, the youth to like, make a change and do something about it. So uh, I hope this helped, and if you guys have any questions about global warming or climate change, like, feel free to ask me, because um, I try to be somewhat knowledgeable on the topic.